Welcome to video two. In video two, I will show you actually how to take your uh, files that you have downloaded and getting the whole JMeter to go, to work, right? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to understand that, you know, JMeter is a load, um, a test load, load testing for, um, you know, specific uh, programs out there or software out there. And, uh, you know, we kind of discussed it briefly in the previous video. In the previous video, I also uh, showed you how to actually get to the point where you can install uh, JMeter and um, how you can actually go ahead and um, you know customize JMeter to to work for you. So we had a look at the uh, download release and we downloaded the, the uh, relevant files and uh, we extracted it as well. And uh, I extracted mine in a folder um, in my download section. And if I scroll down and I just go to that folder and you'd see that my Apache is running here. Now the one thing about Apache JMeter and that's what I t uh, you know that that's what we spoke about in the previous video is you know Apache JMeter is a um, is a Java script uh, you know, a Java application or Java based application. And that's one thing that you need to know and understand is you need a Java to actually run this program. So I'm just actually going to open up a new window. I'm going to type in, um, uh, get Java and you can do the same. Um, now Apache JMeter works on, on Java 6 and up, so it doesn't really matter if you have uh, Java 6 or Java 7 as long as, you, as long as you've got those versions installed on your computer. Now I've already installed mine, but I'm going to show you where to get yours and how to install it as well. So you would go to make sure that it's java.com for uh, get Java, and we're basically just going to uh, make sure that it's version 7, and you can just literally click... Um, download and you're going to say say um, I agree and start the download you'll see that it, it downloaded so if you go to your download folder um, I'm just going to open this up and scroll right to the top you'll see that it uh, downloaded right there so that means that you've got a uh, version 7 um, installed onto your computer and that's one thing though is I want you to go ahead and install uh, that onto your computer and uh, once you have done that then uh, you know pause me right now and uh, take it from there so once you have installed your uh, Java, Java on your computer, we can go ahead and actually go and open up the program. If you did not install Java, if you forgot to do that, you'll get an error when you try to uh, open up um, Apache JMeter. Now, I, what I did is I went to the folder that um, I've extracted um, that I've extracted the uh, Apache JMeter um, T TGZ folders and uh, basically once you've done that I want you to go to you now you either have the fol folder structure that I have or you have four folders depending on which one you downloaded so you would go to bin and then uh, you'll click on jmeter.bat and it will run a command line once the command line is successfully ran uh, it will open up jmeter now we have successfully opened up jmeter and we can actually start with a uh, test page or test uh, run. So now the next subject that we're going to chat about is building a test plan. Now a test plan is is quite important, and you know once you have uh, you know built your test page and you know got your results, uh, then we can talk uh, you know take it from there. So um, basically in the next video we're going to start off by building a test plan and um, we're going to take it from there. So before we go ahead and building our test plan, uh, things that we need to to uh, take in mind is that, you know, Apache JMeter is very much similar to a normal um, a normal application. You've got you on your left hand side, you've got your solution explorer with uh, all your uh, tree, um, you know, relevant files and folders. You have your play button, you have, you will probably have your stop button as well. You have copy, cut and paste, save, uh, new project and so forth. You've got the name, test plan, and you can add comments to your um, to your, uh, you know, your testing thing, uh, your, your testing project uh, as well. So, um, and then you have your uh, user-defined variables, which will be displayed here, and your library at the bottom, and uh, relevant um, settings that we can be changed in between. And we'll get to that, and we'll get down to it in a bit. You also have your file edit search run options and help at the top, very much the same as uh, your uh, normal, just down to... Um, 
your normal application. Now, what I want you to bear in mind is the uh, start, which is Control R, and uh, that is the uh, shortcut that you can use. Now, it's uh, the same as um, as other shortcuts, so make sure that you don't have any defined shortcuts because we're going to use shortcuts a lot in the following videos. So that was me um, explaining in video number two how to get um, Apache JMeter to actually run on your system, either being your PC or a actual server. Now that was JMeter.